What I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today is simply that I'm in awe of you guys. I'm in awe of you because you guys have the opportunity at this moment to change the direction of where you want to go. And you guys have to believe that. So I'm in awe of you because of the responsibility and the decisions that is before you. I remember when I was a kid, I was told that I would never amount to anything. You're just long and tall for no reason. I was called stupid. I was told that, you know, all I should better do is just go hide myself in the corner because I wasn't that important. And there was nothing that was special about me. I didn't have much friends. And the truth about it is a simple one, right? Choices, decisions, consequences. I came across that at some point later on in my career. I remember the first time I went to the basketball court. I was horrible. I grabbed the ball, I ran the entire length of the court and forget to dribble. And you know how Caribbean folks is. They were all on the floor laughing hysterically about how stupid I was as a basketball player. But I continued. I worked harder. One of the biggest challenges that we have as young people is each other, right? Because we are very mean to each other at times, man. We say things to each other that we don't even think about sometimes. We don't even know how much it hurts. You suck. You ain't gonna amount to anything. You know, what are you good for? We say all those things to each other. We don't realize like how difficult that is when somebody tell you that you can't be great, right? I'm not preaching. I remember my first year of going to the United States. I came from the Caribbean. Nobody understand what I was saying. They think my accent, I was speaking a different language. I had to do well in school in order to be a basketball player. So I could say, well, you know, they just don't understand me, forget them. Or I could try to adjust and be better. I went to the basketball court. I thought I was the man. And then when I went to the States, I realized there's a lot of other people that are better than me. So what are you going to do about that? I realized that I was not as good a student as I thought I was. I had only read a few books in my life, and I had to read like hundreds of books to catch up with the kids that were already way ahead of me. Basketball, I started at 15. So I had to catch up with all these kids that were way ahead of me, right? And every part of the way, alcohol, drugs. I'm not preaching to you, I'm telling you that what is absolutely true of any of us here, adults, young people, is that at some point in our lives, we're gonna be at a crossroads, right? We're gonna be at a crossroads. There's gonna be roads going every which way, right? And the question is, what path you choose, right? Simple, what path you choose? Because the path that you take is gonna determine where you go in your life. What I'm saying is that you're gonna be at a crossroads. All of us are at a crossroads at different time in our life. I think that this is yours. Because what I see is that you have the ability to change the direction that your life goes in at this particular time. You have a choice. I had a choice as a basketball player to believe that I couldn't be better. As a student, to believe that I couldn't be better. But I said one thing, I'm from the Caribbean. If they could do it, I can do it. So I went out and became the best student and the best athlete. I didn't let anybody tell me that I couldn't be a student athlete, that I couldn't be something greater than I was. I was told I would never amount to anything. I graduated from college magna cum laude. I made it to the NBA. I got it Michael Jordan. I got it Shaquille O'Neal. I got it Akeem Olajuwon. I played with the best players in the world for 13 years of my life. And I graduated from college. I'm the first person in my family with a college degree. I did those things because I made the choice to do that. So you guys, I mean, I'm not here to feel sorry for you because you are here. 
I'm here to tell you that you have the power within you to change where you go in your life. The question is, what are you going to believe it or not? Ain't nothing I could say or any of these people could say to you, if you don't believe fundamentally you have it within you to change yourself. And you do. You're young, you're talented, some of you good looking, and some of you smart, and some of you could create great stuff. So you have everything you need. You don't need permission from me to tell you that you're great. You are great. The question is, what are you going to believe that greatness is not about just being great? It's about making great decisions. Many of you, I don't know why you're here. Maybe you make some bad decision along the way. But look back. Think about that moment when you had a choice in determining what direction you wanted to go. Because we all do. Adults do. We probably don't tell you, but we have those struggles every night. Like, somebody just give me this thing if I do this. What does that mean for my life? What does that mean for the direction that I want to go in? Is this good or is this bad? We all do it as adults. You know different. You may choose the wrong path. I have chosen the wrong path many times. I was fortunate that I didn't get penalized to the point where I'm here with you guys. But I've made bad decisions. And I'm not here to tell you I'm perfect and you're never gonna make bad decisions. The question is in your life, you try to minimize as many of the bad decisions you will make. And hopefully, they don't cause catastrophic damage to your life and to your dreams. So I just wanted to just take the time to thank you guys for inviting me here and to just give me a window into what you guys are going to become. Because that's what I see is hope. I don't see you guys here. I see you guys doing great things. And I hope that you remember that this is not a moment to be afraid of. These are the moments that you embrace. These are the moments and the mistakes that you make that is going to carry you through your life. It's the mistakes that are going to help you to make better decisions later on. You really have to believe that. Alright? So I want to thank you guys for having me and I'll answer any questions that you guys have. Thank you so very much.